Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company and I wanna show you how to wire in a breaker. It's a pretty straightforward process. I'm gonna have some more in-depth videos. I'm gonna be showing you how they wire in, how they're generally installed. You can do it yourself. This is the basic setup and I'll explain a little bit about the sub panel, how we bring the wire in, where everything goes. Let's get to it. This right here is our sub panel to a casita. We have our feed lines to a 100 amp breaker. Black and red are both our hot lines. White for the neutral, neutral bar, neutral bar for the whites. All the blacks will go here on the breakers. We have a separate ground bar because this is a sub panel. We're gonna wire in one of these breakers and I'm gonna show you how. And before we get deep into this, if you haven't already, please hit the like button on the video. It helps me out a lot. Consider subscribing. I'm gonna be doing all the build out on this casita, flooring, cabinets, drywall, everything. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe. I appreciate everything. Hit that like button, let's go. When we come through the panel, we have a couple different ways to secure these wires as they come through. I'll be using these and we'll punch out these holes. You just hit it with the screwdriver, then come back with some pliers. Just like that, we'll take it out. We'll feed this through. Tighten this down all the way. Then we can feed our line through. Then we can tighten it down so that it's secure. And now that we have our wire secured, we're gonna go ahead and wire in our breaker. You will strip back this casing. Just a light little score both sides. And you can pull on it, strip it, get rid of this paper. It's going to be around it and around the ground. We're going to separate our black, our ground, and our white. We'll go ahead and take care of the ground first. The ground is going to go to this ground bar over here. We'll just bend it over. We'll run an easy 90 over here and get it in this bar. Our next step is to land the neutral. We'll do it right here. So that's secured there. Then the last step is to land our hot wire and that is gonna go onto the breaker. This also is just a simple screw clamp down. Then we can install our breaker. We're gonna rock it from the back and then down on one of these prongs. And that is just the basics of how we wire in a circuit. This is a 20 amp breaker. We have our hot wire on the back of the breaker. We've rocked it in to the bar here. These are live bars, this is hot, fed by these two hot lines. So the red and the black are both hot. Our neutral is tied into the neutral bar. That's where our white line goes into, our neutral. And then you can see coming out of our casing, we have our ground going over here to this ground bar. This is a sub panel. So in a main panel on a house, there will be a bridge between the neutral and the ground bar. On the sub panel, the ground bar is separate from the neutral, but grounds all go together. This thing's grounded all the way in the concrete. We have our neutral bar. We have our hot bars, breaker, breaker to black, white to the neutral bar. Blacks and whites all feed into here. And then we have our bare grounds all together here. Pretty straightforward if you understand how an outlet wires together. It's the same kind of steps here. Breaker is the hot. We can turn it on. Now we're live. We can turn it off. I have everything off while I'm working on it. And I also have the feed lines at the main panel off. Underneath these here are live. I don't need any of this live right now. 
but I just wanted to show you how easy these things do install. We'll be doing 20 amps for the outlets. We'll be doing 15s for most of our light fixtures. We have a 40 up here that already feeds our AC unit. We have 30s for some of the bigger appliances like the washer, dryer, microwaves, or stoves. But really easy, you could do it yourself. You can add a circuit to an existing panel. Make sure everything's off before you work on it. And it's just this simple. And that's pretty much it on just how to wire in a breaker. I know there's a lot of other little steps sometimes. There's a unique situations, but I just wanted to show you that it's not that complex behind the panel. It is something that you can do yourself if you're doing new construction, and even if you wanna just add another circuit. But if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll be having other videos that go into greater depth on this. I have a lot of different scenarios in this casita that I'm building where I'm setting up unique electrical options for lighting and outlets. If you haven't already, hit like and hit subscribe because you can follow me along and you can hit the bell notification so that when I put out these new videos, you'll be notified. But I just wanted to put something out that is kind of straightforward to the point, takes away some of the mystery about the breakers. Just make sure the power's off before you start messing with it. If you have any questions, call a professional. But a lot of the times it's something that you can diagnose yourself, install yourself, save yourself some money, do it yourself and be proud of your work. But I appreciate it all. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.